Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Rocket League. If you don't, if you're not familiar with the game, uh, basically it is. You see, there's a big soccer ball there, and you're driving around cars on this big field or pitch. Uh, it's just basically soccer or football, uh, depending on where you live, uh, and you drive the cars and you can use rocket boost out of the car which you will see in a minute to do aerial stunts to hit the ball way up high or just to get to the ball faster you can flip forward sideways backwards just all kind of stuff um, and I wanted to, to kind of showcase this game because uh, I saw like I, I knew about the game and I had a friend or two who actually played it uh, before I actually bought it myself and I just, you know, I thought it looked kind of cheesy, and I, I, I didn't think it would be anything fun or, or something, you know. It just looked kind of, it was like, what, cars running around hitting a giant ball, what, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, and But once I actually got it, uh, it, and it was it was amazing. Uh, it, right now, among, uh, I have a group of friends, uh, uh, about a dozen or so, that we game fairly regularly, regularly, regularly. Excuse me, uh, and we, you know, I get on TeamSpeak and all that good stuff. And and this is currently the the most popular game by a landslide that uh, that we're playing. I mean, pretty much everybody who tries it out, you know, loves it. So uh, it's great. It it immediately it there's a small learning curve to it. I mean a really quick learning curve. I mean, you virtually get the game, jump in, and you may not be the best at it, but you can get in and you immediately usually uh, will get in and start having fun and be very competitive. I mean, it immediately gets you into that kind of competitive sports spirit, you know what I mean? Uh, and the games are really short, you know, they're just five minute matches. You can jump in by yourself and the game will match make you with other live people. Uh, or you can just play with bots if you just want to get better before you go play with people or practice. Uh, what else? Uh, it's cross-platform. You know, not a lot of games are. So, uh, you know, I'm on PC here. I don't know if that's obvious or not, but I'm, I'm on PC here. And it's cross-platform uh, uh, right now with console with, uh, with, with a PlayStation network. So, uh, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of people um, playing this game on you know, PCs or consoles, and it works flawlessly. It's one of the best matchmaking systems, the smartest matchmaking systems that I've seen in any game, regardless if it's a first-person shooter or what. I mean, this is uh, kind of a unique type of game. So let me just show you. I mean, say you just jumped in. I mean, right now you see I have the infamous, famous uh, Back to the Future. You see the tag says Out of Time. Uh, Gullwing Door DeLorean, right? Uh, I just really like this car. Uh, it's overall, in my opinion, the best car f uh, for my personal taste, I guess you could say. Uh, but y you'll see quickly in the garage, there are a ton of cars. And they all have a little bit different characteristics, you know, whether that be tighter turning, races, uh, tighter turning radiuses or, you know, maybe um, a little better hitbox. Uh, uh, and just other qualities, you know. But there's no car that really just everybody uses and the rest of them, you know, aren't as good. Uh, so people use most all of these cars, uh, you know. So, I mean, you could pretty much just pick what you like and what looks cool. So say you get a car, there's a lot of customization that goes along with it uh, that you gain throughout the game just as automatic rewards for just playing, basically. Uh, you know, paint jobs you know, wills, you know, you can put all kind of stuff on here, which, this is all cosmetic, but, you know, it's kind of neat. Uh, and your rocket boost, uh, rocket boost is super important in this game, hence the name Rocket League, and uh, that propels you, obviously, faster forward, uh, but um, also you can jump up and go straight, literally, to the ceiling, which is good for blocking goals, for getting over opponents and getting the ball, the ball when it's really high and you know I mean because there's a pretty high degree of difficulty in doing the really high um, rocket uh, rocket type of stuff and put it that way but you don't need that to, to uh, play the game I mean you can play the game you, 
like you can jump right in the game and have no idea on how to do any of that and do fairly well so uh anyways uh and you have toppers you know you know these are devil horns you know cherry cop looking thing uh sombreros which is hat taxi you know whatever mohawk <clears throat> let's see what are these uh this is for your antenna you know you've got all kind of stuff we got the reddit snoo there uh, snowman soccer ball you've got uh what we have we have community flags i mean look at all the stuff and these things unlock i mean you even has a root you know reddit rooster teeth you have all that type of stuff in here uh you have your country flags uh which let me get back uh, yeah, you have your country flag, so you you, you, know, you can sport whatever country you're from. It's going to have it, pretty much. Uh, and then your rank. You can show your rank, uh, whatever it is, or you can choose not to. It's up to you. Say you're a rookie and you don't want everybody to know you're a rookie, you, know, you don't have to show it. Or say you're a higher rank, but you don't feel you're up to that level, you don't have to show it. Or if you just don't want to show it. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, well, let me get back and go back to the car that I'm normally on. The DeLorean. And the main reason I wanted, oh yeah, uh, first, let me just show you the matchmaking. Uh, you can create a private match. So say you have your friends. It's got uh, one, one verse one, two verse two, three verse three, and four verse four, right? So uh, uh, what happens if you have five friends and you all want to play together? Well, uh, you can just create a private match and do uh, three v three. That's six people playing. And it will fill in the person missing, uh, say you have five people, uh, with a bot. And you can set the bot's um, uh, level, how good they are, basically. I usually put it on pro, but you know, uh, sometimes, depending on who's playing, how good your friends are, you may want the bots to be on all-star. But, but you get the idea. If you have more people, uh, basically you can have up to eight people playing uh, at, at um, any one time. 4v4 is the max in this game, so that kind of shows you the limitations there, but that's a fair amount. I mean, if you got more than eight people wanting to play at one time that are your direct friends, you're on TeamSpeak or whatever, uh, then, you know, I don't know, split up and play two, two separate games. Let's see, the regions for the servers. So no matter where you live, they, they have servers all over that will give you a good ping. Although this game is very, very latency friendly, I uh, if you have a 20 millisecond ping, it's great. But if you have, uh, say, 180 millisecond or 200 millisecond ping, and the other guy on the other team has a 20 or 30 millisecond ping, he's not really going to be able to do anything any better than you are, just by the way the game is designed. It's not like a first-person shooter where you need a split second for the bullet to hit. It, it just from my own experience it doesn't seem like ping m makes a huge difference uh but it matches people fairly well from all around the world and tries to get the the uh median uh server that will give everybody you know the most fair ping i guess you could say uh and then you have uh, the mutator s settings which as you can see here you can change all types of stuff you can change all the physics of the entire game the ball balancing this the size the way the type the gravity and you know a demolish let's see uh you know you see all these options which we, i mean like that's where you can use that as you know run into the cars to blow them up of the opposing team you know it's a it's a tactic you know you can buff them out of the way or if you hit them hard enough you blow them up and you know they're not gone forever but they have to respawn and there's the respawn time right there. Uh, so let's just get back. We're already nine minutes into this video. Uh, I wanted to show the uh, actual match itself and the replay system. So if I played a game uh, earlier. It was 13 to nothing that we won. It was a four versus four. So four, it was me and three of my friends playing. Uh, I don't have the audio of that, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, versus four other just random um, uh, strangers. I don't know if they were PC or PlayStation. I'll have to look here, but it's cross-platform, if I haven't mentioned that already. Uh, let me just look right here. Uh, if you look at a match right now, I mean, we have uh, 55,501 people, and this is at about 11.30 Eastern time, uh, so it's fairly late. Uh, this number is well over 100,000 uh, uh, 
commonly. So the, it, a ton of people play the game, basically, and, and you never have a problem finding uh, people to play with. Um, but let's go over here to the extras, and you'll see under replays, after any match, you can click a button when the match is done to save the replay. This is the, doesn't take up much space at all, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, and you see here, this last game, 13 to nil. That's the highest scoring game that I've personally ever seen. I've been playing the game, uh, I don't know, three weeks at the most. Uh, it's not a super long time, but uh, that's still a high score because the games are only five minutes long. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go in there. And we'll... Uh, We'll go ahead and put this down to 5% just to keep it slow while I kind of explain a couple of things. Uh, and this is just basically what it looks like. It's a, a way to view the replays, but you can just, you know, you can go, I am going to speed back to 5. Uh, you can go, you know, up, you know, get a nice aerial view. And I'm controlling this with the, the ASDW and the mouse uh, as far as, as, far as movement. Uh, moving around the scroll wheel actually zooms in and out uh, uh, you know I mean the controls here um, I'll just show you them real quick I mean, you see all these controls that you can do I don't know them all I just got into this um, but um, it's nice you know it's you know they put a lot of thought in this game it's a well-designed game it's only like $13 it's definitely worth a try um, but let's get in there and let's just kind of watch this match. I'll commentate it a little bit. Um, let me just show you here. Uh, right now, it's got, if you see on the top, the blue team is the team we're playing. And they have two AI to start. I believe that fills out. I'm fairly sure that fills out as the game goes on. Um, yeah, but you see where it says AI, AI. And you see where it says Cynet? That's uh, someone on console. So that's the the uh, cl the cross uh, platform uh, going on there. In the orange down here, you see the ball going. In the orange down here, um, a chromatic. Uh, that's me. Uh, and then you have Kuth. He's just a friend. And the rest of these guys are my friends. And you see the little green icons by them. That means we're in a party together. Uh, so you can make your own party. So you definitely are on on the same team when you're facing whoever it matches matches you up with. Uh, and then you have, you know, Denny Louie and Mr. Haney. So I'll be referring to those guys, you know, as the game goes forward. So, uh, let's see. Let me lower this down a little bit. Excuse me for the controls, because uh, I'm definitely not, uh, definitely not adept on them, let me just put it that way. All right, let me just put it about the yay height, and let's rewind it back to the beginning. So let's put the speed up to 100%, and you start off, everybody starts off charging at the ball as fast as you can. Okay, we're the orange member, I'm chromatic, uh, so all the orange are my buddies, and you watch, and you're playing, you know, I'm mean, playing defense, so right now, they're going towards our goal. This is not a good look for us. And so, you see here, jump there for some reason, I don't know, but now we're kind of moving that way. Someone got exploded, and there I go, going for the goal. That was a really good try, but a little wide right. He's setting it up. Uh, didn't he try to set it over to the right? And Mr. Haney, he's a really good player. He's trying to set it up himself. And if you want, if you see that, Let's see if we can back that up a little bit and slow it down. Let's put it at 50% speed. Well, let's put it at 25% speed. If you notice this, they, this is not uncommon. They score on themselves. You see that? Let me back that up just a little more. So the ball is coming around. Mr. Haney, my teammate, comes around. So slack. Hack Gamer 21. He's basically trying to go in to stop this. That's usually the result of them scoring on themselves. And you see that one guy goes in and he's trying to kind of knock it out, but you cross the plane, you cross the plane. So.
let's uh, put the speed back to 100%. And again, we're all set up after every score to go for the ball in the middle. And they won that one there. There I go, trying to fly, but <laughs> I fell miserably. And they're set up in a really good look here. But oh, that gets knocked out. It was a great defensive move there. And I'm trying to go for it, and I got the goal there. So if we rewind that up a little bit, uh, see if we see where we're at here. Let's rewind that. Let's uh, slow it down to 25%. And you see, Denny misses it. <laughs> And Haney's coming in, but he misses it, thankfully. And I come in with that single forward flip. And it's almost going to hit Denny because he can hit your opponent's car, and that, and that would have been a complete uh, you know, mess up. But anyways, that's the goal for me. I, only, I have a couple uh, in the game because we did score 13. So this is back at 100%. Everybody's set up again, you know. It's not a very hard game to figure out for obvious reasons. That's why you can jump right in. Uh, not a very steep learning curve, but there is. But you can get a lot better at it. I didn't even mention that there's ranked tournaments and all kind of stuff, and rankings and everything. But I mainly play it just for fun so far. So I'm going after that, and they blocked it midfield. Denny hits that downfield. Set up pretty good. And then one of our own guys hits it backwards. And they're, and they're trying to set it up really good. Nice defensive move there by Denny. And for whatever reason, they're going down the wrong way. It's kind of set up there. I hit it towards the goal. And oh, it gets blocked. But Kuth here cleans it up for us for the goal. Goal number three. Going for the ball again. Everybody charges. Haney gets the first touch. It's coming in. Then he goes around, misses. Kuth goes in, gets some contact. I'm trying to center. Then he centers that one up. And the guy, again, is trying to get that ball out and kind of helps us out with that. So charging. And it goes their way. So we won that one. And I jump up. I get contact and I score. So let's rewind that since I uh, since I actually scored that. Why not, right? Let's go 25%. See just what happened. So that's the kickoff basically, and the ball is coming down. Maybe I should have gone 50% on this. <laughs> let's wait for the ball to hit the ground though. All right, and the ball is coming down here. And let's see, got a nice bounce coming back to middle. I'm using that rocket boost if you saw that. It's the only way I could get that high. I get a nice good look. And it's coming in low. And there it is. They do have, at this point, they still have one AI left. So he didn't do a great job on that, uh, on that defense. Let's get this back at 100%. We should be at kickoff again. We're at point five, five to nil. Almost half half the rounds over, and it's a good look as I like to call it coming across towards their goal. They actually get a pretty good hit there defensively. This guy's driving down the field. All right, and we're trying to block this out. It's going their way. They get a little bit of defense, but then he comes in, lines it up. Kuth hits it. Oh, but look, you saw that their guy in defense, perhaps, or just a mistake, hits it in. Kick off again. I think I got contact on that one. And Kuth goes for it, but the guy blocks it. Then he does a nice midfield stop. And then Mr. Haney does a great hit there. Almost in goal, not quite. But again, looks like they we got help there. Let's uh Let's uh, go 50. I, let's go 25 on that. Let's see what happens. This is not a bot here. He's just trying to hit it against the wall there so it would bounce back out. But I uh, didn't quite get it. You know. So let's go back to 100%. We'll be at the kickoff again. 
We're seven nil at this point, over half the rounds. And they won that one. That's a really good, nice stop by Kuth there, because that, that was almost on goal. This is a dangerous look for us, anyways. And they do another nice defensive move there, and they mm, he, he, that guy hits the wrong way. He tries to clear it back. It's a pretty good job of it, midfield. And I hit it. I hit it there, and uh, it's the crossbar, and Kuth cleans it up. So there's eight nil. Here we go for the kickoff again. And Miss Sister Miss and Kuth together seem to get that one. So it's coming across slowly. And we have Haney comes in tight, barely misses, but sets it up pretty well in the middle. Who takes another one? Once you're keeping it down on their end, it's always in good shape. And it looks like they hit it again. Let's uh, let's back that up. Let's back that up and go 25 and see what happens. It comes across on this end. And again, I think they are trying to basically just hit the ball clear. Yeah, Denny hits it, goes off that guy, and it just accidentally. That's exactly right. Let's back this up. So it's coming across here. Let me see if I can get on the ball a little better. We'll get down a little lower here. And as you can see, it's really no fault of, the, of these guys. It's just the way where the cars were. This guy's trying to just block the shot. He hits it. It, it gets hit off another car just because it's in the vicinity. And it goes in the goal for us. So that's 9 nil. Let me uh, get, get the camera back up here, ready for that, and put the speed back to 100%. So 1 minute, 27 seconds left. And when the kickoff there, Haney comes up with a nice, nice setup, and Denny takes it in. That's just perfect. Really perfect there. As you can see, Haney's plugging in right now. He probably thinks I'm playing it. All right, let's kick off. That's an even one. That's not uncommon for it to go sideways like that. Kuth tries to come in. Haney goes straight in. Oh, almost makes a nice goal midfield. And then we have Kuth kicking it off sideways, trying to keep it on their end. Denny tries to go up the wall, but misses. Kuth knocks it down. We're here close to the goal, so dangerous for them. Oh, both me and Denny go for it, and then Mr. Haney comes in and kicks it in. As you see, the score is 3-3, 3-2. We're doing pretty even as a team, but I'm actually in last place there. Okay, and that's, uh, they actually won that one, more towards our side. So this is one of their better looks, but it gets hit across down their field, so we're chasing this. I actually get down there and set it up for, um, let's back that up. Let's see who exactly got this goal. Let's go uh, 25. You see I'm there to the left. And I get that set up, chase it down. It's going to hit the wall. Okay, so we got three of our teammates here already. And it looks like maybe, it looks like Kuth actually got that point. So we're 12. We only have one more point we're going to have here. But you see the goals, 4, 3, 3, and 2. We're all set up for the kickoff again. Uh, let me set it up to 100%. It'll be, there'll be one more goal, and you'll see when it, when it is. It's actually uh, pretty impressive. And then we got here, this is actually... That's actually harder than it looks. Let me, let me back that up. It's a good example of the... Uh, rocket boost. Let me put this at uh, 25%. And we get down a little lower here. Come back from the angle that I would be looking at. You see they're going to hit it off the line and that's going to go up and hit the ceiling I believe. Or Yeah. So it's, you don't have this kind of view when, when, when you're in your car. So it's not quite as easy. You're like you right up here, kind of watching the ball like that. And so I get the rocket boost. You see how the tires flip on that thing? 
and uh, actually you make a pretty nice save there. Uh, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, it definitely sounds like it, doesn't it? And there's Mr. Haney bringing it down. Uh, I'll get this up. I don't know. Let's watch the last little bit in slower motion. You can kind of see how the mechanics are going. Let's see, I'm, it's a lot easier to commentate this way. Uh, I'm setting it up, you know, it's coming around the round side there on the left corner. Goes over Denny's head for now. They're doing a nice defense, but the other guy mm, hits it. But he hits it pretty strongly back to midfield. We're at 20 seconds left, 19. And it's going back to midfield. This may be a little too slow to commentate. <laughs> All right, Danny's trying to come. See, see, he does a nice jump there. A little boost into it. Just to kind of get, you know, I mean, anytime you can redirect the ball, it, it, there I am with a hit. It, it messes up whatever their goals were. You know, if you're going for a ball and someone suddenly hits it, you got to redirect your whole plan a lot of times. So... Coos coming up, he gets his back end of his car on it, and it sends it the right direction. We're at 10 seconds, so it's not looking too favorable uh, for a goal before the time runs out. You hear the crowd counting down. Let's see, say seven. So we're coming down in the last six seconds. I managed to get a nice hit there to good velocity. Give us a shot. Not that we really need any more goals, but, you know, why not? Three seconds. Two seconds. One. I hit it. And then we got Denny Louie to make it in. And that's the final. Final of the game. So we end up, uh, it scores you, it, it brings in your goals, your assists, your saves, and your shots, you know, so you, know, you can have the least goals but still the highest score because you're more of an asset saving the ball and taking more shots and, and setting the ball up for other people to make goals in the assist category, for example. So as you see here, I have the least goals, <laughs> I'm showing this off. Uh, and I'm pointing my finger, you can't see that, but I have the least goals, but yet I have four assists, so I set it up for four uh, other potential goals, whether they win or not, you know, uh, you just add them up, but uh, no saves, although I did have a save. The game just gives you a save, give, determining the proximity of you to the goal and so on, but, you know, that's just, you know, it does its best. And then you have the actual attempted shots, which is the category on the right. So you see by the time we're at the end of the game, we have no AI that are in this. The majority of the game, there were not bots. It was just the beginning. It just puts bots in there to fill the slots if it doesn't have people. Typically, you will not have bots if you're in, a, in just doing the matchmaking like we did here. And you see their scores. Uh, we, we, we're playing a, a pro, which is my rank. Uh, a semi-pro, uh, which is the rank which before that, a rookie, which is a new guy, and he's on console, and then another rookie. So, I mean, we should have won. Uh, we, we're we using a semi-pro, Kuth, uh, he's really new to the game. And then Denny Louie is a veteran, so he's been around, you know, has some hours into it. I'm a pro, and Mr. Haney, I, he's he's probably the best player out of the group here. Uh, and I know you guys really care, care about that. But anyways, that's Rocket League. That's the replay um, control uh, viewer. I'd say editor, but you're not really editing anything in here. But again, uh, here are all the functions in this. Uh, so, you know, there's roll left, roll right. There's all kind of things you can do with the camera. And again, I mean, you know, I could switch. Let's see. Switch this over to say I just wanted to watch me. And let's back this up a bit. And I put it on me. Let me go back to, uh, let's put it on chromatic. It should, um, essentially, you would think, hang on a minute, player view, there we go. We put it on player view. So now we got the entire view of the game on my car. Uh, <clears throat> 
which is what I'm actually seeing for the most part. That's kind of the view you have as you're playing. Uh, you can alter the view. You, you, you can keep it on what's called ball cam uh, or take it off where you're not restricted to where it's trying to focus you on, on the ball. But that's just technicalities. It would be obvious if you, if you pick the game up, which I highly recommend. So pretty much the point of, of this video is to show an a impressive score, in my opinion, and just how cool this game is. A lot of thought. Excellent matchmaking system. I just can't can't believe it. And if you really want to get a competitive with it, I mean, there's just ranked, uh, there's ranked play, which we typically just play in the non-ranked. But there's ranked play, and people get really serious, and and they get really good. Where you'll see guys just rocketing straight to the ceiling, uh, you know, off the kickoffs and hitting the balls, you know, all kind of just crazy, you know, looking stuff. That takes a lot of skill. Um, but um, I guess that pretty much covers it. I just did a 30-minute 30 30 minute video on a five-minute replay and an overview of uh, Rocket League. But uh, on Steam, it, I think it's regularly $19.99. It's been on sale a couple of times, uh, maybe even right now for $13.99. Uh, and you can pick up a Steam code sometimes off of Amazon for the uh, sale price. And here's me setting the ball up for that last goal for, I think, Denny's the one who hits this in. Uh, but I highly recommend you, if you think you would uh, enjoy this at all, which I did not think I would. But once I actually got it, because I saw, I saw this, uh, all of this being played, you know, just watching it uh, on Steam through a friend. And uh, I was like, eh, you know, it look, looks just, it just look, looks like Mario Kart or something, right? But it's actually super fun to play, especially you can play it with a keyboard, but with a controller is, is obviously you know the route to go. But uh, hopefully that helps any of you guys who are, are looking for a cool game to play. That's football, soccer. Uh, it has the hockey mode, like I said. Uh, or you're just curious about this editor or whatever. If you watch this far in, cool. But take care.